Good evening again. This is middle-aged cartoonist Ken Bailey, hard at work on uh, his flagship character, The Mighty Energy Girl, after a hard day in the uh, real world. We're into some escapism here with our favorite uh, 50-year-old female superhero, Energy Girl. Um, this is the second half of a short video. I, a moment ago, talked about um, both the necessity to draw the character outline the character kind of without clothes first to get all the muscles right and uh, all the body parts fitting together correctly and then putting the clothes on over the top in the same way as uh, a carpenter will build a door frame first before he hangs a door. We also talked about the uh, necessity with a female character like Energy Girl who is meant to look very strong. She has been serving uh, as an amped up human superhero for 30 years now, so she would really be uh, show the effects of both 30 years of a super constitution surging through her body and uh, also of just a lot of exercise over years and years, and yet at the same time um, we wanted her to look both very muscular, very strong, and at the same time very kind of soft and female. So um, besides the obvious um, female hourglass shape, we uh, work very hard on, even with the muscles, the bulging biceps, for example, we we want them to look kind of soft, not exactly like a man's muscles would look, and I try very hard uh, to kind of get that down, the idea that, that uh, you see both great strength and yet softness in the same picture. Of course, when she's uh, screaming in anger, it's a little hard to talk about that, but uh, again, this is just a moment. She's When this drawing is finished, she's going to be breaking down the door of a castle, <laughs> with her knee all by herself. Um, I just wanted to mention a few other things in the second half of our little discussion tonight on little cartooning tricks and all. Firstly, cross-hatching. Uh, notice how many round shapes beyond the obvious ones. Almost every shape on a muscular superhero involves round one way or another, and so you can use cross-hatching uh, to uh, kind of accentuate the way light hits the top of uh, a round shape, and it's shadowed around it. Notice the shading around the knee, around the upper thighs, around the uh, muscle of the calf. Um, basically, it's just a matter of first outlining where the sun might not hit so much and then doing some cross-hatching like this. Her lower abdomen would uh, have some shading like that. maybe up here on her upper arm a little bit. Once again, see how we bring out the round in the muscles beneath the skin there? Even a little on the fingers up here. The other thing is, uh, look at her hair here. When you are, when you have dark areas that overlap other dark areas, uh, fans of Energy Girl have known for years she has one single large curl of hair, a single lock that kind of curls and points up when the rest of the hair is going down. Uh, how do you make that not just disappear when the hair behind is blowing behind it? The answer is what I call a halo, a short, a very small outline around this center shape, and you bring the color of the hair behind it right up to it, but not touching it. You get a little white outline around it. Uh, the same pattern works that uh, before I put the background in, I will put a halo, as we see here, around the outline of the entire figure. So the background, which will be a darker color, will not get swallowed up when I add the color to her uniform, kind of like that. Cross-hatching is a great way to do female hair, too, because you can cross-hatching normally, by its name, you go across. You go one direction and then cross it at a right angle. but with hair, you can just kind of bend with the way the hair would, so it's not exactly meant to indicate every single um, hair, lock of hair, but it does give an interesting effect. As I said last time, don't forget your signature and the copyright mark and uh, the year, so that someday when you show your kids, or in the future when we have some sort of thought-activated three-dimensional sonic internet you can say, hi, ah, kids, I remember when I was little, we didn't have all this. We just had the clunky old two-dimensional internet. Uh, back in 2014, back when I was walking to school uphill both ways, I drew this. And I remember, because I put the date on. And the kids go, ah, oh, Grandpa, you're funny. Ah, uh, but uh, it is fun. Cartooning is fun. And you'll be glad someday you did. So, for those of you who just enjoy watching, this concludes our lesson tonight.
for those who uh, are so inclined to take up the pencil. Um, I hope you've learned a few things, and if not, <laughs> thank you for watching anyway. This is Middle-Aged Cartoonist saying good night.